Julie has always been an innovator and a leader as she has moved through her entire life. She dreams and she makes it happen. And that's Brown. She's invented and reinvented herself throughout the years. She just can't stay still. And if you know Julie, that's true. As a child, Julie's dream from very little was to become a radio personality. And she did it. She hosted a music radio show that became the number one show in Binghamton, New York. She transformed women's role in radio as she ran the West Coast operations for RKO Radio. And then she became an early, early leader in the internet. She was responsible for bringing the internet to third world countries, and that is certainly commendable and a wow. Julie's internet experience led her to an early start with internet dating. <laughs> now don't laugh, because <laughs> she's done it well. She had funny and sad and crazy and zany dating experiences through internet introductions. And she decided that she should share these with the world. So, in reinventing herself once again, in 2008, Julie took her skills and she is now the author, the successful author, of The Perils of Cyber Dating, Confessions of the Hopeful Romantic Looking for Love Online. <laughs> so, OMG, she did it again. She donned her dating red dress. Yes, Julie confesses that red is the only color to wear for a first date. <laughs> She had us laughing and crying as she donned her Manolo souls and bore her heart and soul and shared her dating experiences, tips, perils, and traumas with her adoring public. Julie once again had achieved success and recognized that new footprints in sands of time cannot be made by sitting back in your chair. Julie made another mark in the world and continues as she is now recognized as the worldwide authority in online dating and is currently writing a film adaptation for her book. And so with the old adage, it takes a busy person, Julie was nominated to be a member of the board of directors for JBBBS five years ago. And I was lucky enough to be a part of that interviewing team. We were immediately enamored and recognized Julie's unique dedication and determination to use her uh, communication skills and her high energy to work on behalf of the children and to make an incredible difference in their lives. So, in Julie's style and grace, the board was not enough, so she said, I would like to be a big sister. I want to make a big difference to someone intimately and special. So she applied to become a big sister, and of course, she was accepted. She was matched with Chloe, who you just heard about, saw the picture of, and she threw herself in all the way to be the best that she could be to fulfill this role. Her wit, her humor, and her passion for life's adventures make Julie a remarkable big sister and a remarkable woman. She is a steadfast friend to those in her life. She is a wonderful daughter to her parents who flew in to be with her today to celebrate this amazing honor. She is an active and valuable member, member of our board and a tour de force in all that she does. In the words of her little sister, she makes a difference in everyone's life and I am so lucky that she is my big sister. Julie, 
I am fortunate to call you my friend. And we are all lucky, all of us, those of us today who are friends with Julie to call her our friend and to have you as a part of our lives. You are an amazing woman and so deserving of this WOW Award. You're a true leader in all you do, in all aspects of your life. And we thank you so much for your contribution to JBBBS. And I would like to introduce your new 2010 WOW Award winner. That's a mouthful. Julie Spira. <laughs> because I do come from a family who is always giving back to the community. Giving is something that we must pass on from generation to generation, and it's something that I share with Chloe very regularly. It's what makes our society work. It's what makes our community work. It's what makes our country work, and so it is what really makes us stand out and define ourselves as individuals. Five years ago, I woke up to an empty house, an empty nest, and an empty heart. I knew that I needed to find a new place to call home, and that my desire to mentor was an absolute must for me. So where many of us use the internet to find a date, or a mate, or a new pair of shoes, or an airline ticket for a trip, I used the internet to connect with Jewish big brothers and sisters which then matched me up with my new little sister, Chloe. Both now have become a part of my new extended family. The mark of success is not what your financial statement looks like. The mark of success is how you give back to your community. And what we do here at Jewish Big Brothers Big Sisters is all about the heart and soul. It's about serving 3,000 children every single year and making a difference in their lives and changing their paths to a more positive direction. 